Welcome to PSD to HTML5 and CSS3. This video is called Validating Your HTML5. In this video, we're going to be taking all of the HTML5 that we've coded for our website and inputting it into an HTML5 validator. And it's going to let us know if we've uh, made any mistakes in our code, if there's any errors or bugs or warnings, and then we can fix them accordingly to ultimately have a perfectly valid HTML5 document, which is what we're aiming for. So now get yourself to validator.w3.org. You can also Google search HTML5 validator. This is the first result and it's a really good one. So I'd recommend going here. We wanna validate by direct input, meaning we'll copy and paste our HTML directly in this text field. So do that and check your HTML. And it looks like we have uh, a successfully valid HTML5 document. But I see three warnings. Um, you don't really need to worry about the warnings. Uh, they're more of a heads up. These are things that could be issues, but um, we're not. it's not in the way of actually passing your validation. But maybe let's just fix one of these here. I can see there's no character encoding declared at the document level. All that means is I could put a meta tag here with the character set of UTF-8. Save that. Now the browser is going to read this and know that it needs to assume the UTF-8 character encoding for the document. And now, if I were to copy it, paste it again, and revalidate, I should only have two warnings. And you know what? To me, that's good enough. These aren't a big deal. They're not going to actually stop anyone from using your site, and they're only warnings if w3.org is saying that my HTML5 document is successfully valid as HTML5, then we're, we're good to go. So if yours uh, was the same, then congratulations. You have successfully coded an HTML5 document uh, to be perfectly valid, and that's a pretty awesome thing to be proud of. However, if you did make some mistakes and you were, through, uh, you were thrown a few errors, It'll, it'll let you know what the errors are. So let me just show, I'm just gonna take out this nav closing tag here and revalidate, show you what an error looks like. Boom, two errors, two warnings. So this is not valid. You should not go ahead and use this as your website or upload it to the, the internet for people to look at because you got some bugs and it could be bad. Uh, looks like we have line 23, column nine, unclosed element, nav. We knew that because I took it out and that actually created a second error. So um, usually if you fix one error, it might fix uh, multiple ones after that because it's usually just one unclosed tag that messes other things up. But uh, if you have any bugs, then that's okay. Um, just go through your document, find out what the bugs are, fix it, revalidate, and aim to have a perfectly valid HTML5 document. So revalidate that one more time. Passed, two warnings, we're good to go. So um, congratulations on coding uh, a valid HTML5 document. And in the next video, we're gonna validate our CSS3. So I'll see you there.